and welcome back to another episode of Poke Pointers. I'm Steve, and today we're going to be making some pretty bold predictions on the top 10 cards of Evolving Skies and predicting where they're going to be in a week, in a month, and even in the long term. For those of you who don't know, Evolving Skies was just released on August 27th, and it's widely considered to be one of the best sets of 2021, with a lot of the chase cards from the EV Heroes set in Japan. In my previous analysis, I took the top chase cards from each of the Sword and Shield sets, and I predicted using historical data where they would go in the long term. The numbers that I came out to were that for any particular card, in the first week of release, a card would drop about 14%, in the first month about 29%, three months 30%, six months down 33%, and in the steady state where a card is going to be long term, almost 50%. So I'm going to apply that logic here and make some really early predictions on the top 10 cards. And I'll visit this back in a week to see how close I can get. I would say if I'm within 10% either way on the prediction, that would be a win for me. So starting off first with our number 10 card, we have the Dragonite V Alternate Full Art. We saw pre-release prices for this card hover right around $90, and it's currently sitting at right around $76 to $79. And using some of that math I previously did, I have a feeling that this card is going to go down to around $65. You can already see that this card right upon release is already starting to go down and it's at right at that $79. So it wouldn't so it wouldn't surprise me in a few days if that went and plummeted even further. One month out, I expect that card to hit right above $50 and in the long term just be right at $39. It's a great card. It's actually one of my chase cards, and I'm really excited to pull it. Number nine on the list, we have the Rayquaza VMAX Rainbow Rare Secret. This card released right at $90, and it's been going down since then. Where current prices are right at $76, it's showing about $80 here, but we can see a slow drop off, and in the first week, I expect that to hit $78, and in the long term, likely a little bit above that Dragonite V at $46. This will be an easy chance for you to pick up a Rayquaza for cheap. Number 8 on the list, we have Glaceon V. This is our first alt art of the top 10, and Glaceon is not as popular of an evolution, but it, it still cracks that top 10. It started out right at that $100 price point when it first released, but it's dro been dropping pretty quickly. It hit $84 as of Friday, and it's also been going down. It did see a slight uptick here, but as we can see, the first week price I'm guessing to be right at $73. About a month later, it'll be at $60, and in the long term, $44. Number seven on the list is our second Rayquaza. I originally thought this was going to be the number three or the number four of the top 10, but the public thinks otherwise, and I think it's because people are pulling this a lot more often than we originally anticipated. Uh, this card originally started at right around $140, and you can see right upon release, a lot of people were listing this, and the market price currently is right under $100. In the first week, I expect this to fall further down to $82, and in the first month, you'll be able to pick up a copy for $67. This is a great card for the TCG, and in the long term, you'll be able to cop it for right under $50. So if you're looking for a Rayquaza to put in your deck or even for your personal collection, this is probably the better card over the VMAX Secret Rare. Number six on the list, we have our second Glaceon. This is the first VMAX and it's the alternate art of the evolution. There's been some weird swings for this Glaceon where it originally started right at $115, but it's fallen down to right at $99. In the first week, I think it's it's going to hit $86 in the first month, about $71, and in the long term, be around half that at $51. Number five on the list, our second Evolution, that's the Leafeon VMAX Alt Art. Uh, Leafeon looks like it actually has been pretty consistent in pricing, and it started off right at $110 during pre release. and as of the official of Evolving Skies release, it was at $103. In the first week, it'll likely hit right under $90, and in the long term, $53. This might be one of my favorite cards of the bunch besides the Dragonite V, 
Coming in at number four, we have our Umbreon V Alt Art. I really like the look of this card. It's very brooding. It's very dark. Umbreon is probably the most popular evolution. This card started off at $130 and has dropped a lot to around $105. I expect this card to hit $90 by the end of the week, $75 by the end of the month, and then in the long term, you'll be able to pick up a copy for $54. Finally, in our top three, coming in straight Strong, we have Sylveon VMAX, the alternate art secret rare. One of the cards that popped up out of nowhere from my original top 10 list, where the card started off pretty strong in pre-release at $175. Uh, it goes to show you how popular of an evolution that Sylveon is. The market prices are right below $140, we're at right at 137 to $139. In the first week, I expect that to drop to $118. In the first month, $97 and in the long term, $70. We finally get to our top two cards, and you guessed it, the first one of the two is the Umbreon VMAX Alternate Art Secret Rare. This is a really, really special card. There's been a ton of hype where everybody's been pulling this, been listing this, and this card was able to start off in pre-release at over $450 when it first listed on eBay, and it's been steadily decreasing. On release day, we were hitting anywhere from $250 to right above $300, and I think that in the first week, we're gonna be hitting even past that 240 mark, right under $215. By the end of the first month, I think this Umbreon will be under $200 at $176, and in the long term, I think it's going to be doing very similarly to the Tyranitar V Alt Art from Battle Styles, where you'll be able to pick up a copy for $128. And finally, the master chase card of this set. We have our Rayquaza VMAX Alternate Art Secret Rare. This is the undisputed champion of Evolving Skies. This is a lot of people's favorite legendary Pokemon. When this card first came out, I actually saw listings for $600. Now in pre-release, I saw that go a little bit further down to about $566, but right at release date, we were seeing that card go from $350 to even a above $400. But in the first week, by next Friday, I think that this card is going to be right at $305. By the end of the first 30 days, it'll fall to about $250. And in the long term, I think that card will be able to be bought for $182. I'll be back with another video in about a week to see how our predictions did. So what do you think of the top 10 list? Do you think that my predictions are reasonable? Am I dropping these cards too far down? If you could comment below, that would be great. I appreciate everybody's thoughts on this. If you like this content, please hit like on the video and hit subscribe to the channel. I'm Steve and you've been watching the Poke Pointers channel. I'll see you all next time.